The Charleston County School District's Board of Trustees voted tonight to approve the first reading of an update to the district's policy regarding tax increment financing districts. Now, a tax increment financing district, or a TIF, is a public financing tool that is used on future projects in which the school board can vote to fund or participate in. A policy change was necessary to follow state laws, but the biggest change to the policy and debate tonight surrounding a supermajority vote was not required by state law. Our Emily Johnson breaking down this com complicated topic and how it could affect the funding that goes into Union Pier. The TIF policy that the district currently uses requires a supermajority or no less than two thirds of the board or six members to decide whether or not CCSD will be a part of a TIF. The updated policy would be only five members, which created a heated discussion between board members. On a five to three board of trustees vote tonight, multiple changes and revisions were proposed during the conversation surrounding TIF policy. With that, this decision of such a great magnitude should not be left up to a simple majority. A supermajority in the existing policy is, well, superfluous, I suppose is the right term, um, when it can be overridden by a simple majority. CCSD's CFO Daniel Prentice proposed the changes, which he says are intended to promote greater flexibility in the district's negotiations for future TIF districts in alignment with the current law. It was um, brought up to speed to reflect state law. The biggest portion of this policy is the two thirds majority vote. We are making a, de a decision for our constituents and for our children and our staff and faculty members over the next 20 to 30 years. Members of the public also commented on the possible change. Please retain and support the requirement for supermajority for any TIF. This discussion is timely as the city of Charleston voted earlier this week on a tax increment financial district to encourage the growth and redevelopment of Union Pier, which the district could benefit from. We don't take a policy to make it work for us. That's just not how you govern. Um, and secondly, we don't make policy in anticipation of something coming before us. Union Pier currently generates no tax revenue, but could eventually generate $22 million for CCSD based on estimates by the city. The catch? The district would not see the money for 30 years, which is the end of the financing period. In anticipation of any upcoming uh, TIFs allowing for the district to properly negotiate as needed. Tonight's approval of the policy still has to go through a second reading, which would happen at the board's next meeting in September. Reporting in Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.